Hey guys, it's Robert again. So this is part four of turning logs into lumber. Um, in the first three, part, three parts of the video, you see me turning um, some maple, birch, and ash logs into usable stock for future product, projects. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make the stickers. Um, stickers are spacer boards for spacing out your lumber for drying as well as how to stack your lumber. So I'm gonna be using my bandsaw to cut up the stickers. Uh, when you're running a sawmill, you tend to make them as you go with your sawmill. Um, in this case, I'll use the, the bandsaw in the shop since it's all, it's all small um, it's all small stuff. Uh, reset the fence from inch and a quarter to half an inch. And I'll just be taking some of the bark, some of the offcuts from the making of the boards to make the stickers. So. Enjoy. Okay guys, so um, just got a couple little pieces ripped up there. I uh, thought I'd get a little more out of that first piece, but apparently not. That's fine, I already had a bunch uh, sawn up. So we'll take our grease off ends off. And all my strips are, I got a bunch of these little strips here. And I'm going to just measure up roughly where six inches is on my table. I think it's um, pretty much right at the end. Right, that's eight inches, six inches. Yeah, because I have a 16 inch table. So, uh, one second here. So, I'm just going to use this clamp as a rough rough measuring fence. Uh, I want all my stickers to be about six inches long. Um, they don't need to be exactly six inches long, but they don't need to be um, too long either. So just quick rough cut on the bandsaw, get them all about six inches long. They're all about a half an inch square, a little more than half an inch square. So here we go. <laughs> So we've got 32 little stickers. Um, might be enough for what I'm planning. Um, surprisingly how easy you go through sticker stock. So I'll just pause the video here and get set up for stacking them for you. Okay guys, so I got you set up here right in between my two sanders. Uh, what you're sitting on is my rigid edge belt sander. This is my Mastercraft uh, 4x6 with, 4x36 with a six inch disc. This spot right here on my bench is where I'm going to be storing all my lumber for now. So first thing you want to do is you lay down two sticks because you want your at least your bottom one to be air drying as well. So um, some people like to uh, stack their boards so that the they're stacked in the same way as they were cut out of the log. And uh, I personally prefer that as well. Um, others, not so much as long as they're stacked evenly. So. You lay down a board and you grab two stickers. You put one, and you always want to make sure your stickers line up. Um, on this scale, it doesn't really matter so much. It's if you were doing really big boards, um, you'll find that if you don't line them up, they'll, uh, um, you'll find you'll have your boards uh, warp on you a little significantly. So. So 
So like I said, even though on this scale, the alignment of the um, stickers is not as critical as if you were um, doing really big boards. And I mean, like stuff you would come off a commercial sawmill, like six inch wide boards, eight feet long. You probably want about four, at least four, between four and six stickers for that length. Um, outside of that, like I'm not too worried about it, but I do, I do put all my stickers in alignment just because it's a good habit to get into. Okay, so now I have some uh, thinner material. Some of our white ash that was milled yesterday. And it's as thin as the stickers. So this kind of will build up a little bit slower. So as you can see, we ran out of stickers. And it's as quick and easy as that. So give me one second here. Oop. Drop you guys down. So give me one moment here. I'll get some more and we'll continue stacking. All right, guys. Got another batch of uh, stickers cut out here. So we'll uh, resume our stacking. And these are just, um, these are more random cut than uh, what I originally had, but I only have a couple more boards to set up, so. Okay, so that's those, that's that stack. So I got all of the maple I just cut earlier this morning, earlier to stack. So that's all going right here. Again, lay down two.
And there you go. And there you go. So all of our boards have been stacked. And ready for future projects. Some of this will go into charcuterie stock as aforementioned. Some of it will go into um, little projects like these. Uh, like I mentioned uh, previously, these ones right here can all be re-sawn into thinner stock for uh, book matching panels for jewelry boxes, display cases, um, ballet boxes, those kind of really small box projects. Um, the thinner stock on the upper half of the back pile, um, a lot of that will probably go into uh, beard combs, uh, trays just little stuff like that so hope you find the video helpful uh thumbs up thumbs down leave me a comment subscribe if you want to see more of my wood shop and the other projects i do and have a great day